see. Welcome, everyone, to the Northeast Indiana Basketball Summit. I'm your host, Jeff Metzger, joined by my co-host, Ben Smith. Before introducing our guest, we would like to thank Feel for the Game for providing the platform to have all these presentations live and available for replay. You can check out all the resources over at feelforthegame.com. Our guest today is Gary Andrews, who is the head boys basketball coach at Fort Wayne Northside and also a U.S. history teacher. Welcome, Coach. Hi, how you doing? What are we going to be talking today? Today we're going to talk about the dribble drive offense. I'm going to give you some drills, and then we're going to talk about the offense. And then, you know, if we still have time, I'll go over some zone offenses. Awesome. Sure, and first, sure. going to go over some drills and just talk a little bit about the dribble drive. The dribble drive, I think, is a great offense because I probably ran it, started running at St. Francis eight or nine years ago. The biggest thing, you know, defense were starting to get really good and teams got you really well. You know, and teams would just switch screens. You know, they could cheat your offense. And I thought, you know, the dribble drive, you can kind of have an idea what you're going to do, but you want to put out the defender out on an island and have to stop dribble penetration, which I think is the hardest thing for a defender to stop. So. I'm going to show you some drills to kind of show you how we start it. And then I'm going to, you know, I have a couple of systems that are on their way. Um, one to put their baby to get to bed. We start it and we break it down and we do this every night. You know, when I coach high school, when I coach college, we would start this. We call this drives. We're just working on drives. Like kind of, you know, got an outside ball. It's not the bounciest, but. Sometimes we'll start, we'll put a chair here, or we'll put a coach here, or a defender here, or you know, after the kids learn, they can do it just to have the imaginary defender here. We're either going to come down, you know, say, well, first we'll say, okay, spin move. We're going to spin move, go in, make the layup. Okay, and you're doing it on both sides. So on this side, you'd have the ball in your right hand. Same thing, come in, spin. Okay, we'll have like five people there, five people here. Just go to rebound and just go to the opposite line. Okay, then we'll do behind the back. Here, coming in, behind the back, going to the layup. So you're working on skill work, working on your kids, ball handling, taking the ball hard to the basket. Because the biggest thing in the dribble drive, you tell the kids to attack the rim and get the ball to the rim, try to score a layup. Okay. Then if the defense stops you, we have other options. Your first goal is, I'm just trying to take the ball as hard as I can right to the basket and get a layup. Okay. We have, what we have behind the back, spin, between the legs. We got an in and out move. We'll kind of go over here. Over here, take in and out. Go into the layup. And you're doing this on both sides. You're doing like five, six, seven minutes. Okay. Then we'll switch and say, okay, now. We're going to shoot the jump shot. So now you start the ball on your outside hand. You're going to come in, say you're going behind the back, coming in here, jump shot. And on this side, you start with the ball on your outside hand, the win behind the back, and jump shot. That's a little different from. When I kind of first learned the dribble drive, they said, you know, I remember Kyle Parr, he said, you either want a layup or a three. You know, they don't really work on the mid-range game. We've kind of taught our kids, you know, it's okay to shoot that eight, 10 foot jump shot. We think that's a good shot if you can learn how to do it. If you can learn to shoot the three, take the ball hard of the basket and shoot a good jump shot, I think it can be hard to guard. So we kind of start that way. So we'll start on the outside, going into the layup. Then we'll switch and you're going to the middle. The jump shot. And that way, when a person's guarding you, you can go either way. You know, some teams will play it. We played a team last year. All they did was force the sidelines. So they're guarding us like this. So here's what we do. We just fake. So we go in and shoot a layup. We go in, take them help, take it off to our big guy, or take it out to the corner. Okay, so some teams will play you straight up. That's kind of why we went either way. I just go in one way. Well, they do. Big, you want to start, you really want to 
to start right in here, right around the outside of the lane. Okay, you don't want to start the dribble drive way out here. Then I think if you get too much to the corner, you can force you to the corner, you don't have as much room. Okay. So like I said, we'll do this. We'll start at this. Then we're going to work on some of our handoff for the dribble drive. They wanted a handoff. We call this an eight cut. And you want you want to start. I know this isn't. You know we had to get an outside court because we can't use our gym because it's closed right now. You want to start an eight to ten foot line. The Bible. And you want to start above it. Both of you start up. You're going to do an X. Or X is going right to the top of the key. And it's like an X. I'm going to do the my body to protect the I'm going to hand off. The hand off. It's not a toss. You know, some of the kids, I know, I, you know, the difference between, I think, coaching college and going to the north side. You know, our kids want to be fancy and do a little toss. It needs to be a hand off. It's almost like you're setting the screen. You don't want any room for the defender to get through here. Okay? It's a little hand off there. We're gone. We'll get five people here, five people there. We'll come in. We're on the handoff. We're going to the lamp. All right. And we'll do, we'll just switch sides. Same thing. You're coming in. Turn. And you want to turn the corner and go right to the mat. And you want to watch when you're working on this. You don't want to do this. Here's what our kids try to do sometimes. To teach your players, you want to go right at. I want to go right at. No, Garden Penny. Doesn't matter which one. I'm going right at Coach. I'm setting a screen on Coach. I'm going right out there. All right, right at him. Kind of set that screen. Okay. Now things that we'll go over when we get into our offense. Then you can work on the fake handoff. Teams start getting lazy. They start going. Oh, we're just going to switch everything. Okay, so you're coming in, you act like you're going to hand off, and then you just go. Okay, you do that both sides. Okay, then there's going to be another hand off. Let's get the ball here. When you start the dribble ride, she's going to come down, try to get to the basket. I'm going to stay in the corner. And she's going to jump stop, pass come. Okay, she's going to replay. I'm dribbling this way now. Coach is coming. We're going to do our handoff here. Right in here. Same thing. Use your body to protect the ball. Right. You're going to go in and shoot the layup. Okay, so we'll break that down. You know, like I said, when we first put the dribble drive in, we have to do this. You know, one of these drills, we always do drives every night. We might do this drill one night. The next drill, the next night, we might do the first handoff we walked over. Okay? So those are just kind of some drills we'll go over every night. Like I said, we do it every night. Or if it's not every night, it's 95% of the time because you want to get your kids to do skill work. You can the dribble drive, but your kids can't dribble and can't get to the rim. It doesn't do you any good. So you want to teach your kids to score. Now we're going to walk through the offense. So want to be one of you in the corner, one of you up here. Any way you do it. One coach is six, so we got five right now. One thing, right now, just to imagine, the five is always opposite the ball on the block. I'll kind of go over. When you guys get a little wider, these coach, we don't have the three point line, but they want to be outside the three point line in the corner. Five wants to be above the block. I know there's no block here. Above the block, with his hands up, ready to catch the ball, score layup. You know, what's going to happen? His defender will go ahead and turn and come to help. We can dump it off and we're going to get a layup. Okay. So, Coach is going to start the drive. She's just going to drive. Her first thing is get to the rim and shoot a layup. She can drive and shoot a layup. She drives and shoot a layup. They stop. Coach, he, one of the corners, is going to stay in the corner so she's hitting up her dribble. She's hitting up her dribble. He's going to come even with her. Pat's going to come there. I'm the Euro person. The Euro person wants to be right in the middle of the basket, above 
the volleyball line. This is the three-point line. It'll be right about in here. They want to be like five feet above the three-point line. Okay, just to get a good angle. They want to be in the middle. The coach is going to start. The coach is going to go there. Hit my spot. Now, I'm coming in now. If I can come in here, if I can cross over, go in and shoot a layup, I'm going to cross over and go in and shoot a layup. And you always tell your kids, if you can take it to the basket, score, score. If not, I catch it. I'm dribbling here. Coach is going to come free throw line extended with me. Okay. Coach is going to come here. And then, Coach, if I can do the handoff, he's going to get it. He's going to try to shoot the layup. He doesn't have it. Sometimes this is the four. 
We call this thumbed up four, and all that's going to happen, this person is just going to run in front. Trying to set a screen. Started this way. I go in. Trying to the layup. I don't have it. Now we start it. Now that person's the real person. We're right into it. Okay? It's an easy start to the offense. And I'm five. Well, you want to go to five? Okay. And he's able to make it, so now we got five. Make it easier for you guys to see. To it now, team start cheating. This pass over here, it's over here. What are you over here? The coach is over here. Now we can go back door. And they keep over, stay there, right about there. The coach, we're gonna go back door. We need to start our five up steps. So coach Pio, take a couple steps up. We're gonna come in. to the 
power. Beautiful. Call that power. Okay. Okay. That. Every team I've had, if you have a fire that can score, it's a good way to take advantage of that. So let's see that again. So. Start this way. Dribble here. Coach, Danny wants to go up. She doesn't want to go to the corner and get in the way. That's fine. Okay? That's power. The other thing you can do, the other back door option off of this. We ran this the same year. First year, Robert, he had a good three point series. He gave a little three point series. Ball's going to be Five's going to come ball side. So you gonna come here. Jenny goes, free throw line extended. You gotta turn it out. I'm coming here. She's gonna pay. And all that's put out, you go back forward. Should be everything for the dribble drive. Okay? That's, that's phenomenal, coach. So that's phenomenal, coach. I'm a visual learner, so this is extremely okay. helpful. Zone offenses. Like 12 went off at the national championship. Teams couldn't guard us man to man, so we played pay zone every game. So we got pretty good at zone offense, and we kept adding every week we were playing at a zone offense. So. First zone offense. Yeah, we call it zone one. Put your shoe. 
computer. Here. It's all here. Okay, you're gonna be poor, you're gonna be this way a little bit. Okay, so the path field. Okay, you're gonna fade. Last one's here. Throw it there. You're gonna fake it. Pass comes here. Coach is gonna screen on the outside, the bottom of the like that. You get it? Take it over there. Let's over here. Let's have a shot right there. Just a little simple play. Okay? Zone two. I know we don't have defense here. You can run this a couple of different ways. You can start with the five year screen, the four opposite ball. Hey, you're going to be free to line and set it up here. Okay. So you got your shooters, Taylor, the one in the green, Taylor, you raise your hand. Game okay, there, your perimeter player, raise your hand, stay down. Coach is the five. Let's see what you're your hand out. That's five. I'm going to flatten out the defense, make the guard, the guard and flatten out the field here. Coach is going to move the defender and screen it. See me not getting going to that corner and spot now. I'm going to try to turn the corner, make the opposite guard defender guard. If he does it, I try to clear. Okay. Thank you. All right. This person has to help. All tonight, I throw it there. What what does that do? It makes the forward have to come up and help. What happens? Hey, brother Jerry, that can be a shot right there. All right, now, you go back to Taya. As soon as I threw it to Taya, coach is nailing the five. Screaming right here like that. You're going right to the block. Brother Jenny looks prepared, and Coach Abram goes right to the, rolls right to the high post. Then you start over here. Coach is going to come, come slide it out. I'm trying to turn the corner. If I can turn the corner, I go put there in the block. Pass goes there. You nail that person. Coach goes there. The tail's going to cut through. Go to the wing. I'm going to replace that side open. Then it goes back through. Coach goes over the other side. Now we run the exact same thing, but now the four straight is. Trying to turn the corner. Coach is going to screen right there. You go to the block. You go to the block. Don't have it. Go to that block. That block. Go to the block. Don't have it. Go there. Go to the block. Go to the block. There you cut through. Pass up here. Coach is going to go across. That's just like we started. The exact same thing. Coach is going to screen. I'm trying to turn the corner. Right, now another way we can do it. A little simpler. We have the four screen. So Coach Key's going to be on the opposite block. Coach Abram now is going to be the one screening. The screen of me. Now in the four screens, they're just going to roll right to the high post. If they catch it, they're just going to look high low. Okay. The five, what you want the five to do, they're right here. Try to steal. Okay. Make them guard you. Make you know the five is gonna help up there or help on the drive. This is the forward. Steal them. Make them get in front of you because they're in front of you. It's gonna leave your shooter open. So now time the same offense. Coach, as well. You can scream. So you just flash to the opposite. So all side open. Coming through here, Coach Key is trying to score the field. Not there. Okay, get the throw to Danny. Okay, cut through. Good field, the four still right in here, trying to get it. You get it. You get it. Get it. Field with my low. Four look up. Everybody's going to clap. The opposite of the two. You don't have it. Danny's got it. Last one here. They just, he nails me. Right away, I'm going. 
So have it, throw it, which goes right to the high post. Okay, so you're getting overloaded, continue it. Okay, nail me. And keep going. Okay. okay, another play, throw it off and run. We put our four opposite the ball, five, ball side block, shooter on the wing. Okay, we want this person not too far away from the ball, right about in here. We count right about the lane line. I'm going to make this guard guard. Okay, if I'm dribbling down, I make that guard guard. Okay, guard me. Let's throw it here. Coach, I want to make this person come up.
person cuts through, okay, fire the ball here, okay, if I throw it here, okay, there. Now I'm cutting through. I might have to go fair, but I might be able to get here, short corner. I have a gator, or coach goes to the corner there. All right. And one last. Go on the pass, and then we'll be done. It's Gary Dot Andrews at FWCS dot K twelve dot IN dot US. So it's Gary Dot Andrews at FWCS dot K twelve dot IN dot US. And my phone number is two six zero seven zero four two seven three eight. Feel free to give me a call or text, especially right now when we're at home and all this lockdown. You know, I'd love to talk to anybody with any of these other offenses or with the dribble drive, but or anything else. So thanks for having me. It was a lot of fun. You know, I just thank my coaches for coming out. Taya played for me at Roberts. She played for me for two years. So it's been a couple of years since she ran it, but she it came back to her. So that's cool. Awesome. This is great, Coach. Thank okay. you. Thank you. <laughs>